Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Wouldn't you like to have a heated affair? But now you can, and you can do it without a guilty conscience. Heck, you can even invite your special other to join you in this affair. And you know what? It's going to be fantastic. So the cocktail we're making is obviously called a heated affair. But it's a hot cocktail, which makes it perfect for cold weather. And this is great because I live in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, it's warmer in other parts of the world right now. So you know what? Sit down in the evening, make this cocktail when it's a little cooler. And you know what? It's going to be fantastic. So let's get into it. Now, as I was saying, this is a hot cocktail. But before we even get into the cocktail, what we're going to do is make part of the garnish. And that is a whipped cream. So what we're going to do here is grab our bowl. And our ingredients for this is some heavy whipping cream containing 35% fat, some brown sugar, I've just got some sugar cubes here, and some vanilla extract. So the first thing we're going to do is take two sugar cubes and throw them in like so. One teaspoon or five milliliters of vanilla extract and as much whipping cream as you want. Ha, look at that. This is gonna be fantastic. And you can make as much of this as you want. So the more you make, you can just adjust your ratios accordingly. Totally up to you. And I put about eight ounces, one cup, which is 240 mils of the whipping cream directly into this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this directly into our little blender here with the whisking option on, fire this down, and we're just gonna start this up like so. Perfect, look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful, stiff peaks, exactly what you want. Now we'll just pop these down here and really make as much as you want. This will only take two, maybe three minutes just to get you, oops, all over the place, exactly the amount you want. And you know what? You're gonna want more than one of these anyways. And you can use this same recipe for a hot chocolate or a hot coffee, totally perfect, right? So grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a 10 ounce coffee cup, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two ounces or 60 mils of an Anejo tequila. Now this is Cazadores, I really like this stuff. The good thing about having an aged tequila is you get all sorts of great influenced flavors from the way it's stored. Two ounces or 60 milliliters. All right, perfect. Now I prefer the Anejo for this. Choose whatever tequila you want that gives you the best flavor and bang for your buck. Now the next thing we have is some hot apple cider. Now this is a non-alcoholic apple cider and it is sweetened and it's got cinnamon. It has allspice in it, perfectly fantastic. And you need about six ounces, which works out to 180 milliliters. Look at that. Fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. You can smell the apple, you can smell the tequila. Now what we're going to do is top this with our homemade cream. And you know what, use as much as you want because this stuff is fantastic. And we'll just put it on top like so. All right, look at that, <laughs> fantastic. Now we're just gonna finalize our garnish with two things. We are going to use a stick of cinnamon, and we're gonna grate some bartender's cocaine nutmeg. So first what we're gonna do is put the stick of cinnamon on here like so. And now what we're gonna do is just grate it nicely. Oh, beautiful. You should just smell the nutmeg. In fact, please make this. I think you're gonna love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, hot, steamy affair. <laughs> you just can't go wrong. Now, the good thing about this is you can just slide this in here like so and use it as a straw if you want. Oh, so good. You know what? You just... Mmm. <laughs> the apple, the tequila, the cream, the nutmeg. It is fantastic. Probably one of the best hot tequila drinks you can actually have. You know what, what I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think I should use a different type of tequila, maybe a different type of apple uh, cider, please leave a comment down below. 
And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps me to have some cream on my face. <laughs> and you have a fantastic afternoon.